Ms. Schwartz, uh, please begin. Justine Schwartz. Isaac Asimov wrote, when I read about the way in which library funds are being cut and cut, I can only think that the American society has found one more way to destroy itself. This was quoted to be by my Rabbi Joseph Potasnik, spiritual leader of Congregation Mount Sinai, executive vice president of the New York Board of Rabbis. The business and career section of Brooklyn Heights Library at Cadman Plaza will soon be located at Grand Army Plaza Library. I have filed a complaint with the ADA, Americans with Disability Act. The Grand Army Plaza Library is not accessible by subway for the handicapped. There are no elevators at that stop. I am the voice for those who can't make it into the library because of their physical restrictions. I have trouble with my knee and climbing the subway stairs now is agony. If I have to go someplace, multiple staircases are involved. I will take car service or not go rather than using the MTA. I am fortunate I can afford the extra expense. Many people can't, so they stay home. Their quality of life suffers. They won't be able to enjoy free career development classes, computer, Wi-Fi, librarians, educated, books, DVs, diverse lectures, performances at the Business and Career Library if it is moved to Grand Army Plaza. It's a hardship being handicapped. And closing down my library in Cadman Plaza is heartless and wrong. If the Cadman Plaza Brooklyn Heights Library is demolished, the effects on the mass population of handicapped and seniors will be overwhelming for years. No temporary library will suffice. We can't afford a shutdown. This is not fair. I give voice to this topic as to the damage that will be inflicted on our people, on me, that need and use the free service of our overcrowded library in these bad economic times. Thousands of library patrons use Cabin Plaza Business and Career Library weekly. Libraries rock, renovate, don't terminate. With heavy hearts, thank you. With heavy hearts in hand, we take a stand for money. New York City's government, we petition by the thousands, numerous. I use the humorous. I'll give you the gobbledygook on books. Pusillanimous politicians are craven when they destroy our children's safe haven. Pacific Street Library's Girl Scout troop will have no meeting place. Developers plan on stealing their space. Such a disgrace. Since 2008, public library funding has been decimated, abrogated by the library slayer, Mayor Bloomberg. <laughs> he has slashed millions of dollars in cold-hearted cash. What balderdash. Many libraries are at risk. That's so sick. Big business wants us to fail. Overcrowded libraries, they would downscale. Education, job service, computer access, derailed. A good econ economic future curtailed. It's not pretty. New York City has no pity for the nitty gritty. Library shrinkage is recommended by the bad asses. Means fewer free career building classes for the masses. Cutbacks on handy dandy free convenient books provides a poor economic outlook. Developers have huge appetites for real estate in Brooklyn Heights. In Cadman Plaza's business and career library's footprint is a very bad, mad blueprint of condos for the wealthy. For us, not so healthy. 
highlights our community's lack of opportunities. At the defunct, deleted, much needed Donnell Library, local theatricals were delightful. Neighborhood striving artists, insightful. Plays and performances have ceased to exist. The public bathrooms are missed. Our pleas have fallen on deaf ears. For years, Brooklyn Heights Library has no air conditioning. Boiler and furnace pipes want recommissioning. With fashion's passion, I beg for money without distaste. On bended knees with piety and grace, or fists of fury in your face. Oh, Lord, dear God, I pray. Please, we need a cavalcade of financial aid. Libraries rock. Renovate, don't terminate. We are the hoi polloi, all libraries we enjoy. In summation, it's a struggle to get a useful education. I swear to the truth, I am living proof. Libraries changes lives. Our quality of life thrives. Libraries could train you for a new vocation. Take a look at what I learned to juggle from a book. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Schwartz. Ms. Schwartz, I have one request. I have one request, Ms. Schwartz. You have to autograph uh, your poem for me before you leave. <laughs> I would love to.